Hi. Uh, recently I watched a cymatics tutorial on how to tighten up drum loops um, and I noticed that uh, a lot of people wanted to see it done in FL Studio. Uh, cymatics mainly focus on Ableton and sometimes their tutorials um, don't sort of carry over well to other DOWs that uh, easily so I'm going to give it a go. Um, for this I'm going to use Slice X so this is the drum beat I'm going to use So it's, yeah, sort of drum and bass beat. Um, I wanted to try and pick something that sounds a bit kind of messy, just for this example, so it's more obvious. Uh, so we want to right click that, go to open a new Slice X channel. And as you can see, there's the waveform. We want to click here where it says ABC, and then go down to auto slice. So what this will do is slice up um, the loop by its transients. So we want to go to about medium medium auto slicing. And as you can see it's it's added a, a marker to each of the transients. Sometimes you want to zoom in and just check that the markers line up with the transients. Ideally you want the markers to be at a zero crossing. Sometimes they just don't line up. Um, but once you've got that sorted out, we want to go over to here, um, and these bars up here are basically destinations, and down here uh, are the articulators that you can use to sort of effect and modulate these destinations. So we want this for this we want the um, volume and envelope. So to enable the envelope you just click this little box here. So let's listen to what it sounds like now we've enabled it. So it sounds like it's uh, tightened it up a little bit. What it's basically done is added a envelope to each of the transients. Uh, which follows this curve here. So by manipulating this curve we can further tighten or not. So let's just try that. So we don't have to actually manipulate this graph directly. We can um, use these knobs down here but I personally like to use the graph um, another thing you can do is actually click and add points so you can just do whatever you want to do which can be quite a cool effect um, I'm just going to try it with a vocal loop When we've got the vocal loop in here, um, one thing's important is that we want to try and match the tempo. Uh, otherwise, it's going to sound like this. So, so uh, as you can see in this one, we've got the tempo already written in uh, 93, so let's just match that. So again, uh, we've got this envelope on, manipulate the shape. So now you've got this um, percussive sound um, to the vocal chops, which is quite a nice effect. Um, and this is really all there is to it. So yeah, um, I'm planning to do a couple more tutorials like this one, um, just because I notice when I watch a lot of cinematics videos, uh, and I scroll down to the comments, I know there's a lot, quite a few people who want to see uh, those tips and tricks done in FL. Um, so 
yeah, I'm sort of willing to help these guys out, and also it's a good inspiration for me. <clears throat> so, also, if you have any um, suggestions for tutorial videos or uh, anything you want to see covered in a future video, please leave, leave those suggestions in the comments. Thanks.